It has long been believed that Nauvoo polygamy begins on April 5, 1841. Joseph Smith married his first Nauvoo polar wife, the young single Louisa Beeman. But when we look at the story, there are anomalies. One of the things you'll notice here is all these women have previously married except for one, and that's Louisa Beeman, the one who's supposedly first. It's just a matter of weeks, usually, or maybe a month between marriages. But between the one that's supposed to be the first one and the second one, there's a gap of six and a half months. So that one is an outlier in two ways. She's never married, and there's this unexpectedly large gap there. Well, the person who performed the marriage, Joseph B. Noble, was a brother-in-law of Louisa, there are several reasons to question Noble's dating. Noble actually gives a variety of dates. That April 5th, 1841 date became the popular date because that happened to be the date in the affidavit Andrew Jensen had. But there are other affidavits, there are other statements, and they give uh, two different days of the month, two different months, April and May, and uh, three different years ranging from 1840 to 1842. And the Noble family didn't move to Nauvoo till after September 1841. And the marriage occurred in the spring, then the spring in which it occurred could not have been the spring of 1841. So we moved that one back to 1842, and that changes the order of these early marriages. Now this takes care of the anomalies that we saw earlier. When Joseph married Zina, she was seven months pregnant. The descendants of that child have been DNA tests. That child was actually the legal husband, Henry Jacobs' child. Joseph's second Nauvoo wife, Zina's sister, it actually appears that she was pregnant. The third wife, Agnes Colbreth, was not pregnant, but the fourth wife that he marries, Mary Elizabeth Rollins Leitner, was seven or eight months pregnant. So there's a pattern here. Well, it's not necessarily clear from this what Joseph's motive was. It becomes clearer maybe what Joseph's primary motive wasn't. Sex. If all of this was Joseph Smith's way of getting the hot babes for quick sex, somebody needed to give the guy lessons because he was doing it wrong. The, the conclusion people say is obvious. He practiced polygamy was a fraud. Well, have you looked at how he practiced polygamy? A sensible reason to infer from this is he effectively wants to adopt the children. Joseph, Revelation has promised priesthood and lineal blessings that would be passed on to his children. Again, one possibility would be that he's actually trying to raise up seed through polygamy without having to have sex with women other than Emma. Sort of adopting these women's children would certainly be one way to do this. So although it's seen as obvious that Joseph institutes Nauvoo polygamy in order to have sex with many women, his behavior at the outset refutes this and would better be explained by an attempt to avoid the very sex that was the supposed motive for the polygamy. The people who say, you know, it's so obvious that Joseph was a fraud because of polygamy, they seem not to recognize that the supposed greatest victim of what he's done, the person impacted most by this, believes in him. She rejects polygamy, but she never stops believing in her husband's sincerity or that he's a prophet.